Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? We are back with our final hobby box. And once again, shout out to our mom. She had some Halo boxes on pre-order for us, and she asked if we wanted to keep those pre-orders, and I said, you know what, screw it. Let's go ahead and dive into these before these boxes go away, and I'm glad we did because there are now no more boxes at Steel City, and some other websites are running out as well. So I'm glad we got these. This was a smarter move, and if we want to get the Halo cards again later, maybe we will, but I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'm just excited that we get one more box of Midnight Sun so we can hopefully complete our base set. We are missing 30 cards total, so let's see how many of them we can find in this box. Okay, and as always, we get our 12 packs and six cards per pack. So we've got some really cool cards in the other ones that we got. The first box we opened of these was from a different case. And then the, the last box we opened, and this one is from a new case, uh, the last case that Steel City had. So hopefully we that resets our odds for getting a case hit, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, all right, so we got Storm. Great shot of her. Great card. Morbius, sweet. That is awesome. I don't know if we've got him yet. I know we got the, uh, the shade of him, but I don't know if we got the regular ones. That's cool. Dormammu in green. That's awesome looking. So, all right, so I'm making little stacks over here. Hey, Howard the Duck in the medallion. That's a cool shot of him. <laughs> that looks great. All right, so I'll keep him over here. Let me move that blade. There we go. Um, all right, and we got our Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. That is cool. And that's one of the ones we were missing. So we are now only missing one of these cards to complete this, uh, the insert set of Spirits of Vengeance, which is awesome because it's really the only full insert set that I wanted. So, uh, and we got Victoria Montesi in the last spot there. All right. So, oh, you know what? We're going to go back and forth. I got two piles there. We're going to take turns going back and forth on them. So for no reason at all. Um, all right. So squared up, start off with Spidey. Great card, great artwork. Electra, another great card. Hey, cool. Look at this. Another Strange Tales in green. We opened a Strange Tales in green in our single packs in the shorts. So check those out if you haven't already. Oh, and just like the other one, this is followed by a shade, an ultra shade. And is this Werewolf by Night? This is so cool. Look at that. So we got Moon Knight and the same profile shot i think of werewolf by night here so maybe someone can tell me if i'm wrong on that this is card one of the ultra shades and card 13 so uh yeah just awesome i, I love that we got the two profile shots and we also got like two full body shots so we got four ultra shades and that makes sense because we technically opened four boxes we had 12 loose packs and three so every box we got we got an ultra shade that is freaking awesome so we got morbius and dracula and we'll put these characters with them that's so awesome i love that uh all right cool and then what do we got the last two cards in the pack we got another strange tales right there crypt of shadows and blackout for the last card in the pack all right i'm making different piles so all right so this will be sad you know to this being our last box and all but i'm just glad we got these you know like if i'm missing any singles at the end of this i'll just look for them on ebay um but i'm just really happy that we did not miss out on this set this is a, definitely a, a culmination of a lot of characters of, that we love in the Marvel Universe. So I'm really happy we are here to share that love and passion with you guys. Deathlock, great character. My friend Nate's favorite character, I think, in Marvel. Um, Linda, look at this. Linda Little Trees. Wow, we haven't gotten her either. I think her and Deathlock are new to us, like as far as we haven't got their cards yet. So this is good because we're trying to complete a base set. And if we do, oh, Blade in the Green, that's awesome. If we do, we'll make a video with a binder or something and we'll show off our set and we'll talk more about these cards. So maybe we'll get at least one more video out of it. Hey, another magic. So this is a duplicate and I will have a lot of these that are duplicates or inserts that we don't want available for trades or anything like that. So you guys can just hit me up on Instagram. That's the best place to hit me up. Um, so yeah, message me over there um, at the Venom Vlog. Uh, all right, so we got our Spellcraft Stories. This is the one I think I told about in the first box we opened where it's Ghost Rider versus Hulk during World War Hulk and Johnny Blaze tries to do the penance stare on Hulk and it doesn't work. And the Spirit of Vengeance is like, yeah, he's innocent. He's coming back to Earth to get revenge on Iron Man and the heroes that launched him into space. So, yeah, so he's kind of an innocent in this one. I was like, holy cow, that's amazing. So, uh, yeah, and then the Ancient One. 
So the penance there didn't work on Hulk for that reason. Um, and yeah, just a fun fact, the penance there also does not work on symbiotes, or at least on Venom it didn't. So I imagine it also wouldn't work on Carnage or any of the other ones. Um, hey, we got something in here, something little or small or cut differently. Oh, interesting. Let's see what it is. So we got Danny Ketch. Awesome. Death Rider. Cool. Werewolf by Night. Awesome. I love this artwork. Really, really awesome. All right. We got a green Mephisto. Whoa. Dude, we don't, we're missing that card too. Look, he's holding a little Ghost Rider. That's awesome. That's very Malbolgia and Spawn looking too, which is awesome. I like that. All right. Let's see what this card is. We got Monstrosity in the back spot. And then we got a Spellcraft Stories with Stephen Strange, Chris Piccolo artwork. Uh, so cool. Put that over there. And let's see what this hit is. Oh, whoa! Doctor Strange Hellfire! Dude, as we got lucky on these. I think Victoria Montesi is the only non, like, awesome, awesome character. She's still a cool character, but she's not, like, an awesome, awesome character like Stephen Strange is or Scarlet Spider So and Man-Thing. Like, we got the jackpot on these. Of all the characters to get, we got some really solid ones. So, oh, I'm so happy. We're going to sleeve this right now. Um, and it's, he's got the green flames behind him. He looks good. That is a great card. Yeah, we're keeping this. We, I got to say, we've become Doctor Strange fans because of uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. We really like how he portrays the character in the MCU films. Um, and then reading the comics now, like, become even a bigger fan. Because, you know, Steven's always been a cool character, but just always a little bit outside of our, you know, perif. And uh, I would say lately, definitely been loving the stuff they're doing. Especially the current Jed McKay stuff with Clea and everything. And Blood Hunt and all that. It's It's been really fun. Um, all right, so we got Lilith Drake. Ooh, great card. Great character, too. And we got Taboo. So cool. Some of these characters that you're just like, really? They got cards? But I'm I'm happy for them. Some of them haven't had cards in a long time, if ever. Uh, Blackout. We got Blackout. And we got a Medallion of Loki. Sweet. All right. The King of Mischief. Great series, by the way. I love Loki Seasons 1 and 2. Awesome show. Uh, all right, we got Strange Tales. Tales to Astonish. Ninth Wonder of the World, and Black Cat at the back of the pack. So, cool. This is pack six. We are halfway through the box, and I got to say, I love the Stephen Strange hit and the Ultra Shade that we got. That's amazing. Um, great characters, too. Dracula, base card, and Zadkiel. Very cool. I think we got one of him before, but he might have been in the green parallel. Which, in this one, we got Kitty Pride. Little shadow cat action, and they put Lockheed in there, and it's Simone Bianchi. So I wonder if she connects to another character. I have to look through the cards. Uh, I'm gonna guess because we got the green parallels of cloak and dagger, and those cards line up, uh, which is weird. They're not card like 22 and 23 in the set. They're card like 22 and 25, which I thought that was weird. So in a binder, they don't line up. So we rearranged our binder and put them next to each other because we're like, yeah, that's how they should be. They shouldn't have been split up. I know they go alphabetically, but holy crap, Blackheart. In the Ultra Abilities, dude, the Son of the Devil. Dude, this is awesome. This is a great Ultra Abilities to get. We are big fans of this character. I mean, you can't really be a fan of 90s Ghost Rider run with Dan Ketch without liking Blackheart. Those crossovers where Ghost Rider, Punisher, and Wolverine teamed up to fight Blackheart. And then I think in the sequel, they try to, like, help him in a way. Um, and then had to fight him, like as always, you know. But really great character. Um, I, I would love to see a, a movie version of him. Uh, and Mephisto, too. Like, I heard we might at some point, but I, I, I want it sooner than later, <laughs> for sure. Um, hey, look at this. This is Goose Rider. This is the last... We completed the insert set. No way. Goose Rider was the last one? So they never did Caleb, right? Was Caleb the... the he was like the... Uh, what was it? Like Civil War era Ghost Rider? I believe he was a slave, actually. And was freed and then killed and came back as the Ghost Rider. It was more of like a crow meets Ghost Rider kind of story. But it was really good. It's called Trail of Tears, I believe. It's awesome. If you've never read that book, uh, Clayton Crane does the artwork on it. Um, and Garth Ennis writes it. It's amazing. And that's one of my favorite Ghost Riders is that, is, is that version. So I was hoping to see a card of him um, more so than Goose Rider. But uh, that's fine. A Goose Rider, I guess, deserves his own card too. But... I would have liked uh, Caleb to get his own card. Uh, still, great card so far. And we are halfway through the box. Great hits so far. I'm very happy. So we got six packs left. 
let's keep it going. See what we get. All right, Lucas Cross in pack seven, starting us off. We got Hellcat, another great character who was on um, Jessica Jones. Uh, they portrayed her on that show, and they did a great jo job with her. What's that? What is that? Why was that there? There was just like this divider. <laughs> what is that? Why was that there? Let me know in the comments. Is this... What? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. Dormammu in the green. Sweet. We got Wiccan. Uh, awesome. Character you're probably going to see very soon. I think in Agatha, maybe, that show. Um, but uh, one of Scarlet Witch's sons that she kind of created. And also a member of the Young Avengers. So I'm excited. I want to see how they portray Wiccan in the MCU. Um, Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider for the Spirits of Vengeance line. And Scarecrow. All right. Well, if anyone can tell me why that random card was here, that's uh, interesting. If nothing else, it was a, a topic of discussion for 60 seconds or so. All right. So we got Howard the Duck. Awesome. And another Carnage. Cool. It's funny. We've only ever gotten two Venoms in this. We got the base card and the blue numbered variant of it. Um, so that's cool. That's enough for me, though. Two Venoms is, is, is awesome. Uh, Monstrosity in the green. Hey, Hannibal King in the regular medallion. We scored the purple medallion of him in the previous box, which was really awesome. So cool to add him to the collection. Our favorite Spellcraft stories. And uh, we have Man-Thing as well. So cool. All right. Four packs left. Let's continue to... Let's, let's see if we get at least one more awesome hit. I mean, I'm not trying to be greedy. I think what we got so far is awesome. But then I think we're close to a base set. I think we are, because I saw a lot of new cards in here. Uh, Dr. Voodoo, our first card. And we have in pack eight, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11. Oh, that was, this is pack nine. Okay. Uh, Madeline Pryor. We got the green blackout. We got a, oh, whoa, Spidey Medallion. Dude, that is cool. That's a great one. I'm sleeving him. Oh man, that's a Spidey hit right there. I will take it. That is gorgeous. All right, I'll put them up there with our hits. Um, all right, and we got Tales of Sonic. We got this one already. And then Daniel Drum. Uh, so cool. Okay, three packs left. Here's pack 10. Let's see what this brings. All right, they square up. So we got Hawkeye, I think from the Damnation event where everyone became a Ghost Rider or had a Flaming Skull for five minutes <laughs> in Vegas. Uh, Damon Hellstrom, awesome art. Really cool look on him. I like the chains and the, the leather pants. That's awesome. Um, Blade in the green. So this is our second one of those. And then we got another medallion of Wong. Hey, dude. Sweet. Another great character that has risen thanks to the MCU a little bit more than where he was in the comics. But awesome character. Also a big uh, component in the Damnation storyline. So that's cool that we got him. We got the Hulk versus Ghost Rider card again. And Clea Strange, who we are going to see by the Charlize, the beautiful Charlize Theron, who will be playing her in Doctor Strange 3. We saw her at the bonus scene sequence at the end of the movie for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So I'm excited to see her portray Clea in the next film. Um, all right, so they square up normally, so I think we're good here. Not sure if we're going to get any major hits. So we got Lucas. We got Hellcat. We got Green Falcon, which I think we've had this one before. So that's okay, though. And whoa! We got a Ghost Rider. This is when Johnny Blaze became King of Hell. Yeah, he was King of Hell for a while, and Dan Ketch had to be returned as Ghost Rider to try to take down his brother. Really cool. Felt very, like, supernatural to me, which, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan. But even in this comic book, they gave the, the two brothers, Johnny Blaze and Dan Ketch, supernatural tattoos, or one of them had the, the symbol as, as their tattoo. So I thought that was cool. And it's funny because it's supposed to be a ward to keep away demons, but there's a demon living inside Danny Ketch. <laughs> so this is cool. I'm sleeving this one too. That's a great hit. And to get the King of Hell version of Johnny Blaze is really awesome. So I'm going to tuck that over there. That's a good hit to me. And then, hey, check this Spellcraft stories out. We haven't gotten this one yet. Um, oh, that's cool. So yeah, this is when Lilith and the Lilin start rising up in Midnight Suns and Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze and everyone start fighting back because this is when Dan Ketch was Ghost Rider. So, and then we got Scarecrow at the back of the pack. All right, last pack. Are we going to get some magic? I don't know. But this whole experience has been magic for me. 
to open all these cards and see a lot of my favorite characters, obscure ones and popular ones has been awesome. So thank you guys for watching these episodes. I really hope you've been enjoying them. And if you've been collecting these, let me know some of your favorite cards down below. Or if you plan on getting them, I would get on it quickly because I don't know if the e-packs are going to come out. I have no idea what's going on with this set. Um, so, And I know that the boxes are being marked down to like 150 and they're selling out. So if you're going to get on it, get on it quick. All right, Morgan Le Fay, Iron Fist, Danny Rand. We got the Green Zarathos. That's a great shot of him too. Oh, awesome. We got a medallion of... Dead, no way! Okay, that's awesome. So I got a Johnny Blaze, King of Hell, and this is the version of Danny that he became to fight Johnny. So I cannot believe this. Back-to-back, dual-pack magics at the end. Brothers, you know, Winchester Brothers, Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch, becoming the Death Rider of Limbo. He went to um, Purgatory and got these new powers and from the king of purgatory, he used to be in hell. And then now has this ability to go stop his brother. Really cool comic. I really wish it got to finish. It unfortunately came out during the first year of COVID when you know shipping and all these other things were having issues. And the book just lost steam in sales and went away. And it was a real shame because I thought they were building up to a really cool story. Hopefully they tell it one day um, or a version of it. But to get the two brothers in the last two packs, that to me is... That's a that's a case hit for me. Um, and then for the artifacts, we got the Crimson Bands of Sidorak. Uh, that's a new one for us, so that's cool. We'll take that. And we got Captain Marvel as the last card. So all in all, I'm very happy with this box. If nothing else, like this was cool to get as medallions. As far as medallions go, like sometimes you get characters you're not a big fan of and everything, but to get Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch from a run that I really, really loved. This run started when I lived in California, and it ended when I moved here to Florida. And it was like a bridging, one of those comic bridges where I was reading it from, starting in one place and ending in another. And um, and the the story is about a journey, you know, like like any good story is. And uh, and it's about these two brothers. And I just really, really resonated. This story resonated with me big time, and I loved it. So to get them two in it back to back to round out the last box that we're going to open is amazing. And to also get Spidey, to get a black heart and the ultra abilities, to get a hellfire of Stephen Strange, and to get a werewolf by night to go with the pack that we opened, the single pack where we got Moon Knight, and then we also have Dracula and Morbius. Like, dude, how awesome. How awesome. The, the four characters we got were all characters we love. This is so cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode and all these episodes. I really do appreciate it. We will have more card unboxes coming soon. The next ones will be Wolverine. We're going to open up the blaster packs. And we had three blaster boxes donated to us, which is really awesome. So I'm going to open those first when they come in the mail. And then I ordered three more. I figured three and three for Wolverine. Get the three claws on each side. So we're going to open those. And I'm going to do a video on each box. So we're going to have six videos, one for each box. I know some people are like, dude, that's such a waste. Well, we're going to try a new technique. We're going to shoot some this these videos uh, and be a little experimental in how we film them and what kind of footage and stuff we show. We want to try to change things up a little bit and not just do this same top-down angle. You'll still get a little bit of that, but with other cutaways and things like that and close-up shots, we want to put a, a real effort into those videos to see what it would look like, just to see what it would look like. So those will be coming very, very soon. So until then, I hope you enjoyed these episodes, and we'll see you in the future with more cards for sure. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace. Peace.